Welcome to Symbirion. We develop and distribute Symbior electromagnetic signal integrity software. This is a demonstration of electromagnetic fields and uh, power flow in differential uh, vehicles computed in Symbior THD software uh, with Symbior 3 dtf solver, uh, full wave 3D uh, solver based on three of finite elements. So um, the uh, first is differential mode. Differential mode is uh, excited at this uh, location uh, and um, right here we are looking at the strength of the electric field and the wave uh, at 10 gigahertz propagates through from here to here and this, this port is terminated with 100 ohm. This is 100 ohm in series with one volt excitation. Uh, we will take a look at the um, um, electric field, magnetic field, uh, in this, uh, we'll take a closer look later, uh, at 10 gigahertz power flow, 10 gigahertz again, and uh, electric field at uh, 43.85 gigahertz, uh, magnetic field at eight, uh, again at 40, uh, about 44 gigahertz power flow. You can see striking difference uh, between the case of 10 gigahertz, and I'll explain why it, it is so. Um, electric field um, for common mode. It's um, 25 ohm, one volt in series for this port uh, excitation, and this is 25 ohm. Uh, termination magnetic field for common mode, power flow for common mode at 10 gigahertz, and power flow for common mode at 32 gigahertz, 32.5 gigahertz. So let's take, let's start from um, 10 gigahertz and uh, and um, take a closer look at different slices of this field. First, how field transition from the bottom side um, into the Vs. That, that would be interesting to see. And to do this, I can basically restrict the simulation or visual, visualization area to just this uh, area that of the transition. And we'll be able to uh, and also I can make planes less uh, less transparent to uh, concentrate in this area. And let me just adjust it for better view and then we'll compare it at different frequencies. We can see uh, highest strength of uh, electric field here and uh, then uh, the field is getting uh, electromagnetic field is getting into this area, Vs, magnetic field. You can see how it kind of goes around the strips and then gets around the Vs so in different directions. Power flow. Power get is getting from dominant mode of the transmission line into this V section. This is at 10 gigahertz. Forty-four gigahertz. Electric field, magnetic field. Power flow. Power is still kind of getting into this uh, V section, but on the other side we can see how power spreads wide. Common mode 10 gigahertz, electric field. Now we can see that the electric field is uh, the same direction from each strip. goes in the same direction, those arrows. Magnetic field. Magnetic field 
10 gigahertz. You can see it just circles around both views here. One way and then uh, another way. So it's a same current on both views. Power flow for common mode. And it gets on this side. 10 gigahertz. And power flow at, for common mode at 30. 2.5 gigahertz. Gets on the other side and spreads all around. So um, let's take a slice in the middle at um, 10 gigahertz and um, electric field and get into the middle. middle section. Make it a little more transparent now. And you can see the predominant components of electric field are X and Y. So we don't see much of Z component uh, except in this area here. Differential mode electric field at 10 gigahertz, magnetic field 10 gigahertz in the middle section. Top view again. Power flow. You can see power flows mostly in this area here. And it gets through from this side to this side. Electric field at 43.85 gigahertz. And we can see the electric field is spreading far from Vs. And also it has substantial Z directed components that we can see here. Uh, that components belongs to those planes. Dominant com mode between the planes. And uh, it's not so nice anymore. Magnetic field, you can see some irregularities and substantial magnetic fields are around those stitching vs that carry ca some current. And power flow, power spreads around here. Common mode, electric field at 10 gigahertz. You can see now direction is uh, same direction from both Vs. Magnetic field circles around each V within into the same direction and between both Vs also. Power flow for common mode. At 10 gigahertz. But th this is a power flow density, I should say, or pointing vector at each location of the field. Power flow density at 32.5 gigahertz. Finally, the top portion of V, which is uh, where the field transferred back from the uh, Vs into the dominant mode of the transmission line, differential transmission line. 10 gigahertz, magnetic field at 10 gigahertz, power flow. You can see how power gets around those uh, layout defects at high frequency. You can see wave-like behavior here. Differential mode again. Magnetic field. You can see it's not so regular as in case of um, 10 gigahertz power flow.
common mode. Ten gigahertz. Magnetic field, common mode, ten gigahertz. Power flow, the common mode, ten gigahertz. Power flow, ten gigahertz uh, um, of common mode, at thirty-two point five gigahertz. Well, um, it is interesting to take a look also at the slice along the via, so and I can do this uh, just um, selecting uh, cut through in, in a different plane in Y pl plane and I cut this more a little more so now I have nice slice here. It's electric field again at 10 gigahertz. Differential mode. Magnetic field. You can see it kind of circles around different direction on both sides of these. Power flow at 10 gigahertz. Basically, get along the vias, more power in the uh, on the interior side of vias. Electric field at forty three eighty five, and you can see how it propagates. Magnetic field, power flow. So high discontinuity at this frequency. This is common mode, electric field of the common mode. Magnetic field of the common mode. Power flow of the common mode. You can see more power traveling right here at the exterior side of here. And less power uh, less energy propagates through this area and at 32.5 gigahertz. So those frequencies are selected to basically um, have um, these um, uh, illustrate the localization principle. So where localization breaks, where energy spreads far, then um, the, the system is not localized and um, it's it cannot be predicted the behavior cannot be predicted uh, and, um, and this is electric field an electric field in a cut plane through the st through the structure and you can see how it gets through in the plane between views so uh, if you uh, take a uh, measurement to analysis correlation. We can see when uh, for differential mode at uh, frequencies uh, above 40 gigahertz, the VS are not localized, and we, we see a substantial difference between measured and simulated insertion loss. Um, in, and um, in case of um, common mode, you can see how common mode correlates uh, measured versus simulated. Break of localization takes place at much lower frequency. At 10 gigahertz it's still localized and then uh, at those frequencies here the uh, common mode uh, is not becomes uh, unpredictable. So what about um, if you add some um, pods for instance. This is a quick analysis of uh, VS with pods. This is electric field. You can see higher concentration of electric field between the parts, so it's additional capacitance. Magnetic field, 10 gigahertz. Oh, this is magnetic and electric field, and this is separately magnetic field. This is power flow. And it's um, also Interesting to take a look at the same slice as we did uh, with the um, K 
keys without pods. Cut this uh, into get a small subsection of the views. And now we can see how fields energy propagates along the structure. So you can see how it gets into kind of well. And those views are pretty reflective actually. And what else do we have here? An electric field at uh, uh, in the middle between the vias. You can see uh, more um, higher strengths of electric field at um, at those uh, locations with the pods. This is the end of this demo. To learn more, visit simbirian.com application notes, um, webinars, and knowledge base sections. Or download and try Symbior now. It is available in download section. Thank you.